we have a big state budget. And as was previously mentioned, it keeps growing bigger and bigger. And this is the concern that I hear over and over again from my constituents. Why is it so big? Why does it keep growing at the rate it's going? While there are many good things in the budget, it falls short in many key areas. It falls short in addressing some of those most pressing public safety needs around our state. There are investments for recruiting and law enforcement, but it fell short in addressing retail theft, car theft, and, and addressing the culture of supporting law enforcement in the state to attra attract new members to the law enforcement community. It falls short in, in key areas around education. It maintains a cap on special education. This, it, may, it falls short on addressing the, the urgent need that we have for paraeducators. Madam Speaker, the, the numbers speak for themselves, and you can go to OSPI's website to look at this, of how many students are falling behind in Washington State. The learning loss that our students have experienced over the last four years with the pandemic is not adequately being addressed in this budget, and we made proposals today that could do so without growing the size of the state budget. We're not doing enough to attract high quality uh, paraeducators and to retain, retain them in the field. Madam Speaker, I come from the long-term care industry where, where we too have a shortage of, of workers. And it's the kind of job that it takes a lot of heart to do that work. It takes a lot of heart to be a teacher. It takes a lot of heart to be a paraeducator. It takes a lot of heart to work with vulnerable populations. And we're not adequately addressing the need that we have for those, for those paraeducators that do really difficult work and prioritizing what it means to, to give students um, the, the extra help that they need to, to um, recoup that learning loss and to be successful in schools. Madam Speaker, I just met with a constituent of mine this weekend uh, who said, I see how much we're spending across the state per pupil and then I see the outcomes and I feel like a chump. I feel like I'm being taken. I don't think that we're giving our students what they need if, if we're not directly um, increasing the funding to, to that, those direct student outcomes that, that help them have more academic success and make up for that learning loss. These are some of the problems that need to be fixed in Washington and the reasons I'll be a no today.